Good afternoon and welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa, I am The Crafty Author and welcome to my craft room slash quilting room slash sewing room. <laughs> Basically, it's an everything room. Um, anyway, today um, I am going to be showing you how to make a rag quilt the traditional way. So I've shown you how to do um, a rag quilt, doing it really easy and simple and quick. I've shown you how to do that same method with a very large quilt, and now I'm going to show you how to make a rag quilt um, the traditional way. And it's gonna have a little bit of a spin on it yet. So <clears throat> I hope you enjoy this tutorial, but I, first things first, I want to show you the blanket that I did make. So this is the latest rag quilt that I have made and I've already gone ahead and washed it once to start the ragging process with it. Now, the way that this quilt was made, um, I made it using my AccuQuilt because I just got an AccuQuilt and I absolutely love it because it saves on so much time when you're cutting out your squares and for a rag quilt, it saves with the um, actual finishing of the quilt. So when you cut with the um, Accu quilt, this is what you get from their die. Those fringes are already cut for you. So all you have to do is cut all the fabric pieces that you need, sew the X to sew the pieces together, and then you just stitch an inch along the seam line. And then when you're done, you're done. All right, so I have gone ahead and I have already prepared my fabric. It's folded in half and I'm going to fold it in half again. So that will make the four layers. Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna lay it flat on my die. You wanna be careful when you're smoothing out on here because you could cut your fingers with that with those blades, they're very sharp. And all I'm going to do is set this down on my cutting machine and here we go. I'm gonna rub the uh, static off of here. I'm gonna pull this down. And I'm gonna pull it up. And I've got perfect a perfect cut with the fringe. Already done for myself. I'm excited. I'm telling you now this is the best way to go. Saves my hands and my arms. From hurting so much because I have the I have arthritis in my hands so this is really a lifesaver for me and then all I do where are my scissors they're over there great all I do is I just come and I cut the excess off now if you're going to cut this out with a rotary cutter you are gonna to want to make your square eight and a half inches. So just cut for the, 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 um, the pieces in the blanket, you're gonna need for like the animal print, I needed 18 of these. So 18, eight and a half inch squares. And then for the, um, the floral part, eight, I needed 17, eight and a half inch squares. And then for the backing, I needed 35 eight and a half inch squares. Now, if you're going to use batting, I went ahead and did this as an example. I cut out a piece of batting. Now this is a six inch piece of batting. And all you would do is stick it, you would put your, let me get that right first. You're gonna put that your backing piece face down. You're gonna place the batting on top and then you're gonna put your little print design on top. 
and then you're just going to sew an X in between, okay, to quilt it. Now, I'm not using batting, remember, so, but I wanted to show you that, that that's how you would do it. You would just put the batting in the sandwich and you would just X it. And then after you've sewn all the pieces together, you would fringe, you would cut the fringes. And like I said, I will link to the video there, but I just wanted to show you um, how you would do this with a piece of, with a piece of batting. So now I'm gonna go to the sewing machine. I'm gonna start sewing these pieces together and I'm gonna show you how I do that. So in order to quilt this, I've already got my thread and everything ready to go. <clears throat> All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that these are lined up here because I'm doing this way. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sew an X. Now, I do like to chain piece these. It makes it go a lot faster. But for demonstrate, oops. For demonstration's sake, I'm just gonna do it this way. My needle came unthreaded. It's not good. Okay. Let's try this again. This is how you make the the little square. You can see the X, okay? And then it X's on the back too. And the way that you put these together, all right, is you're gonna take your front piece and normally you put it right sides facing together and then you sew down and whatnot in traditional sewing. But in this case, we're going to take the two back sides and I've got to make sure I'm doing this right because this is directional. And you're going to place them together. So your two back sides go together. Okay, so you should have both fronts facing. Now you can pin this. You don't have to. I think I'm going to go ahead and stick a pin in here just to be safe, just because I want to hold it together. And all you're going to do is stitch right along here so about an inch in so you don't want to stitch on your fringe so you want to stitch about an inch or a half an inch in okay so i'm going to go ahead and do that and i am going to back stitch just a little bit you don't have to do that but because i already have this fringed i want to make sure that this is not going anywhere and then i back stitch a little bit at the end And voila, it's already fringed and it's already to go. And then you can see on the back side that it's already done. All right, I am back and I have gone ahead and sewn all my rows for this little rag quilt. This is what it looks like on the back a little bit long. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to take my two pieces because I'm going to attach the rows. So I'm going to show you how you do this, okay? So I'm going to leave my top row right here, just like this. And then I'm going to make sure that when I'm doing the rag quilt piece, that this is going to come up like this. So all I'm going to do is place this wrong side the back sides together so the back side should be facing each other this is exactly opposite of what we do when we're when we're sewing when we're piecing a, a quilt because you want that fringe to pop up all right so now what I do is I would line up my edges 
So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I do pin. When I, when I make rag quilts, I do pin, just because it makes it easier, okay? So how do you get your, your seams to butt up in the back? That's a really good question. Um, so what I do is I'm gonna push this one this way. I'm pushing it to my left. And this other one is on the bottom. I'm going to push it to the right, this way. <clears throat> and you can see I have both of these seams here. And then I'm going to inter, interlock them. And that's, that's all you do, is you just interlock them. Okay, so I've got everything pinned and ready to go. And I'm going to start sewing. And then we've got our first row attached. Okay. That's what it looks like. Okay. And here's what it looks like on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and finish attaching all the rows. <clears throat> and then I'm going to wash this to get the ragging process started. I got fuzz everywhere, in my nose, all over the place. I've made two of these since yesterday, so that's why I'm having such a problem and I have allergies on top of it. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. I'm gonna throw it in the wash, then I'm gonna, and, I, and when I wash these, I do it on a quick wash for about 29 minutes, according to my washing machine, and then I put it into the dryer on high heat and I just let it fuzz all up and it turns out fantastic. Um, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. And keep on crafting. I'll see you guys on Sewing Talk Tuesday and I will also post pictures of the quilts when they are all finished. So I'll show the panda quilt and I will also show this little cute little pink elephant quilt. If you have questions, please feel free to ask the questions down below in the comment section. See you guys later. Bye-bye.